In Kabbalah, the mystical tradition of Judaism, colors are often associated with various spiritual concepts and energies, including masculine and feminine principles. While interpretations can vary, here's a general understanding of how red and blue are sometimes related to masculine and feminine energies in Kabbalistic thought. Red is masculine energy, Din, Gavira. Red is often associated with the masculine principle in Kabbalah, particularly with the attribute of Din, which represents judgment, severity, and limitation. Gavura, the sapphira associated with Din, is often depicted with the color red. Masculine energy, represented by red, is seen as assertive, disciplined, and strong. It embodies qualities such as power, action, and rigor. It is the energy of strict justice and boundaries, enforcing order and maintaining balance in the universe. Blue as feminine energy, Chisid. Rakamim. Blue is frequently associated with the feminine principle in Kabbalah, particularly with the attribute of Chisid, which represents loving kindness, compassion, and mercy. Chisid, often depicted with the color blue, is considered one of the primary feminine energies in the Sephirotic tree. Feminine energy, represented by blue, is seen as nurturing, compassionate, and receptive. It embodies qualities such as empathy, generosity, and unconditional love. It is the energy of compassion that flows freely and unconditionally, fostering growth, healing, and connection. It's important to note that in Kabbalistic thought, the concept of gender is not strictly biological but rather symbolic representing different aspects of divine emanation and cosmic balance. Masculine and feminine energies are understood as complementary forces that interact dynamically within creation, rather than being limited to human gender roles. Overall, in Kabbalah, red and blue can be seen as symbolic expressions of masculine and feminine energies respectively, reflecting different aspects of the divine and serving to maintain harmony and equilibrium in the cosmic order. In Judaic mysticism, particularly within the framework of Kabbalah, the color red, Hebrew Adam, holds significant symbolic meanings. Gevura, severity, judgment within the Sephirotic tree, which maps out the ten attributes through which the divine interacts with the world, red is associated with Gevura. Gevura represents severity, judgment, and limitation. It is situated on the left side of the tree and acts as a counterbalance to Chesed, which represents kindness and compassion. Gavura is associated with attributes such as discipline, strength, and strict justice. Din, judgment red is often linked with the concept of din, which refers to divine judgment or justice. In Judaic mysticism, it is believed that the world operates according to a balance of mercy, chesed, and judgment, gavura. Red symbolizes the strict enforcement of divine laws and the consequences of actions. It represents the aspect of divine justice that ensures order and righteousness in the universe. Energy and Vitality Red is also associated with energy, vitality, and the life force. It symbolizes passion, vigor, and the intense emotional aspect of human experience. In this sense, red represents the dynamic aspect of existence, highlighting the constant flow of energy and vitality within creation. Sacrifice and Atonement in some mystical interpretations, red symbolizes sacrifice and atonement. This symbolism is derived from the association of red with blood, which holds sacred significance in various Judaic rituals. Blood represents the sanctity of life and the process of atonement for transgressions. Red serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made for spiritual purification and the restoration of balance and harmony. Overall, in Judaic mysticism, the color red carries complex symbolic meanings that encompass notions of judgment, energy, passion, and sacrifice. These interpretations contribute to a deeper understanding of the mystical principles underlying Judaic philosophy and spiritual practice. Paraphrasing Hermann Plage in the book, Colors Demonic and Divine, Shades and Meaning in the Middle Ages and After, the depiction of the devil himself in red is rooted in ancient and pagan associations with bloodthirstiness which often manifested in the color red. Christianity interprets the color red as a symbol of Satan's presence. Witches who allegedly made pacts with the devil were to be eradicated by fire, preferably of a red hue. In the book of Revelation 6 verse 4, the entity capable of taking peace from the earth is depicted riding a red horse, 
while the whore of Babylon is described in Revelation 17 verses 3 to 4 as arrayed in purple and scarlet, and seated on a scarlet-colored beast. In Judaic mysticism, particularly within the framework of Kabbalah, the color blue, Hebrew tekelet, holds significant symbolic meanings, primarily associated with the sapphira, divine emanation, of chesed, loving-kindness, and other related concepts. Chesed, loving-kindness blue is closely associated with chesed, one of the ten sephirot on the tree of life in Kabbalistic teachings. Chesed represents attributes such as love, compassion, kindness, and benevolence. Blue symbolizes the expansive and nurturing aspect of the divine, reflecting the boundless compassion and love that permeate creation. It is often depicted as the color of the uppermost divine emanation, suggesting its foundational role in the emanation of divine energy. Understanding and Transcendence Blue is linked with the concept of understanding and transcendence in Kabbalah. It represents the depth of knowledge and wisdom that transcends earthly limitations. Blue symbolizes the vastness of the sky and the depth of the sea, symbolizing the boundless nature of divine wisdom and the mysteries of creation. It suggests the capacity to perceive and comprehend the divine order underlying existence, particularly in the context of higher spiritual truths. Heavenly Aspects Blue is often associated with heavenly realms and celestial phenomena in Judaic mysticism. It represents the divine aspect of the heavens and the spiritual realms beyond the physical world. Blue symbolizes the connection between the earthly realm and the higher spiritual planes, signifying the presence of the divine within creation and the transcendent nature of spiritual reality. Protection and Healing Blue is also associated with protective and healing energies in Kabbalistic teachings. It is believed to possess purifying and common qualities, offering protection from negative influences and promoting spiritual and physical well-being. Blue is often used in rituals and talismans aimed at warding off harm and promoting healing and wholeness, reflecting its association with divine mercy and compassion. Overall, in Kabbalistic teachings and Judaic mysticism, the color blue conveys profound spiritual meanings related to chesed, divine understanding, heavenly realms, and protective energies. It serves as a symbol of the expansive love and compassion of the divine, as well as the transcendent wisdom that guides and sustains creation. The term, tekelet, refers to a specific blue or bluish hue that holds significant cultural and religious importance in Judaism, particularly in the context of ritual textiles and garments. Historically, Tekelet was derived from a dye obtained from a specific species of marine snail called the Murex trunculus, found in the Mediterranean Sea. This dye was highly prized in ancient times for its vibrant blue color and was used to dye various textiles, including ceremonial garments worn by priests and royalty. However, the exact shade of Tekelet has been a subject of debate and interpretation over the centuries, leading to a range of hues being associated with the term. These hues include greenish blue, light blue, dark blue, and even violet. Despite the diversity of hues associated with tekelet, what remains consistent is its symbolic significance within Jewish tradition. Tekelet is often linked with concepts such as royalty, divine sovereignty, and ritual purity. Garments dyed with tekelet were reserved for special occasions and individuals of high status, symbolizing their connection to the divine and their elevated role within the community. Quoting in part Gadi Sagiv of the Open University of Israel, Department of History, Philosophy, and Judaic Studies, a paper titled, Dazzling Blue, Color Symbolism, Kabbalistic Myth, and the Evil Eye in Judaism. The color blue is thought to protect against the evil eye in Mediterranean cultures. A Kabbalistic myth of a blue cloth covering the feminine aspect of the Godhead became the theological foundation for various practices of using the color blue against the evil eye. Kabbalistic symbolism has important mythical aspects manifested in the personification of the divine gradations. In particular, Makhut, the last gradation, is portrayed as the feminine aspect of the Godhead. As such, she is often characterized as vulnerable and as being in danger. The danger is that the evil and demonic forces will attempt to penetrate her, a penetration often portrayed in sexual terms. This act is their way to penetrate the Godhead and disseminate their evil upon the world. On one hand, blue has signified infinity and sacredness, on the other hand, 
It has often been considered demonic and dangerous, a color of a ritual object. The cipher to numbers, Sifriai Bamidbar, one characteristic of Tekelet, which has its origins in the first century C, associates the word Tekelet with the Hebrew roots denoting annihilation and bereavement. Hence, Tekelet is an end, and sometimes even a divine power of destruction and death. Sagav in a footnote writes, Sifra to Numbers associates Tekelet with the annihilation of the elder sons of the Egyptians and the sinking of the Egyptian soldiers in the sea, Nuzner 1986-178. The Ankylos translation of the Bible into Aramaic translates the Hebrew root bereavement. In Kabbalah, the Godhead is described as a complex of ten manifestations or gradations called Sephirot. Each gradation is a distinctive aspect of the Godhead, such as mercy or judgment. One of the prominent characteristics of Kabbalistic language is the usage of symbols to describe every gradation and the system as a whole. These symbols are not only signifiers of the divine, every symbol is also an embodiment of the corresponding gradation, carrying some of its divine characteristics. Colors are one of the clusters of symbols of the Godhead in Kabbalah, in which every gradation is symbolized by specific colors that represent distinctive characteristics of that gradation. For example, the color white often symbolizes the gradation of mercy, whereas the color red usually symbolizes the gradation of harsh judgment. The case of Tekelet is more complex because Tekelet carried diverse meanings. In early medieval Kabbalah, Tekelet was associated with two gradations that are two extremes of the system. On one hand, it was associated with the highest realms of the Godhead, such as Hakma, wisdom, when it is described as the highest gradation. On the other hand, it was associated with Makhat, kingdom, the lowest gradation. Fire is a symbol for the entire system of the Sephirot, with the Tekelet flame, whether blue or black, symbolizing Makhat. Tekelet appears in several Zoharic teachings as a color of fire that is the destructive force of Makhat. This destructive quality is rooted in the aforementioned similarities between the word Tekelet and words denoting termination, both in the sense of completion and in the sense of annihilation. Additionally, the Zohar mentions the similarity between Tekelet and the Hebrew root denoting devouring. As such, it concludes that Tekelet is a devouring fire. Again, paraphrasing Hermann Plage in the book, Colors Demonic and Divine, Shades and Meaning in the Middle Ages and After, only a blue devil possesses the cunning to orchestrate this illusionary world, provided he can evade bouts of melancholy, known as the Blue Devils. In this hue, devils exude their most formidable presence as depicted in the works of Hieronymus Bosch. Moreover, the devil's closest allies on earth, the witches, convene at Bacala, translating to Blue Hill. The association of devils with blue likely stems from the ancient aversion to the color as a symbol of death and the underworld, prevalent in classical antiquity and the early Middle Ages.